suspect ended up in the hospital. News 9 is everywhere tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Erica Moke. And I'm Rich Pierce. That's where we've learned he ended up getting away. News 9's Jennifer Black has the video and talks to the officer. Pretty much said some choice words and the fight was on. New Athens Police Chief Jason Zimmerman describes the moment things went south during a routine traffic stop for speeding along South Main Street. Started to reach under the driver's side um, seat of the truck. Zimmerman says that's when fear set in. Of course, you know, what's going through your mind is gun, gun, gun. Uh, it's a sickening feeling. I mean, you see other departments, bigger departments, you know, other parts of the country where, you know, assaults happen on police officers. but. A simple thing like that turned into a fight, and you think, am I going home? Is he going home? What's going on? The suspect's next move, to make a run for it, so Simmerman took out his stun gun. He fell on a sidewalk between a garage and a house, and unfortunately, he uh, fell face first and literally ripped his face off. I mean, they're... That's no way easy way to put it. And what made the situation even more frightening was Chief Zimmerman wasn't sure what his backup situation would be. It's a small department. This is the only cruiser, and he was the only man on the clock at that time. My backup was Caddis Police and the Harrison County Sheriff's Office, and if it wasn't for the dispatcher that night knowing what was going on, and just by hearing the clicks of my mic, he knew something was up, and Caddis Police responded very, very quickly. The suspect Stephen Jeffrey of South Carolina. He was treated on scene, but because of his severe facial injuries, had to be flown to a Pittsburgh hospital. Police say after several days in the ICU, he checked himself out and somehow, they believe, got himself back to South Carolina. Meanwhile, the Harrison County Grand Jury has indicted Jeffrey on charges of assault on a peace officer and failure to comply. Zimmerman now seeing to it that Jeffrey is tracked down and returned to Harrison County to answer to those charges. Everybody's got their day in court, not saying he was guilty of anything. You're innocent until proven guilty, but uh, he's going to have his day in court. You know, we're not going to, this is not going to go away.